Backstage UFC 287 with my boy C Rod in the building. Listen, you gave us a shout out in the media room. I appreciate that, brother. You gonna party with the Nelk boys tonight or what? Hell yeah, I'm down. And wherever they go, I'm I'm in there. Right, listen, story. We're we're going to story in Miami tonight. You're more than welcome to come. Come hang out with the boys. That's where the after party's at. But let's let's talk about the fight, brother. Because uh, you talked in the in the media room about your heart, and I mean, you showed a lot of grit and toughness in that first round. Because like everybody said, Raul came out. I mean, going for it all in that first round. When you sat down at the second round, what was your coaches telling you? Uh, they're telling me to be patient. Um, we knew in the first round it was gonna come super, super aggressive, but I felt we thought that that's all he had. Um, we thought after the first round, he was gonna start to slow down a little bit. And um, for me, I never slow down. I'm always trying to win and never give up. So yeah, just being patient and keep the gas going. And talk to me about that team, because obviously you train with killers. We saw Sergio Pettis there. Like, how does he help you out in the gym every day? Yeah, he's, he's a world champion, you know, I've been, um, it's giving me a world champion uh, mindset, so it's, it's been helping me out a lot, a lot. And then what does it mean, like you also said in there, you were like, man, I need, to mo I need to focus more on MMA as a whole. I need to hone in on my craft. So, I mean, what is it going to take for you to get into that mindset, that world championship mindset to, you know, look at this as like, hey, this is my career right here. I think tonight was that big awakening. You know, I feel like today is my first time fighting in front of arena on a pay-per-view card. Um, so it's serious to me now. It's like it's, I need to go give my life away to this now. And to the people that didn't know you, like, I mean, there was a lot of hype behind Raul Rosas Jr., obviously, but do you have anything to say to, I don't want to say steal the hype, but, like, you know, get yourself out there as well. What would you like to say to those people that haven't heard from you? Yeah, um, yeah. if you, got, if you like exciting fights, tune in to watch me. Follow me on Instagram, uh, crod 97 um, I love fighting, I love scrapping. Um, for me, I would love to just stand and bang people, but sometimes you have to just stuff takedowns and like figure, li uh, figure fights out. But yeah, tune in. And I gotta know, like, other than, you know, fighting, give me a hobby years. What do you like to do outside of the octagon, brother? Oh man, I don't have any hobbies. So I've played some PS5 here and there, but that's about it. 2K guy or? Uh, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty. Oh, okay, yeah. FPS, I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, a little Fortnite here and there, but not too much, though. So. You want to shout out your gamer tag? Yeah, C Rod 97. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Christian Rodriguez, anything else to add before you get out of here? Uh, no, that'd be it. It's plain and simple. That'd be it, he says. A man, a man, a few words. Hey, I won't hold you up too much longer. Go enjoy your victory. Thank you, brother. Appreciate and thank it. you for the love and support, brother. Of course.